Hi everyone. Welcome to our online writing experience. My name is Angela and I know that if you are accessing this course, you're probably writing from home um, and a teacher or a friend has shared this with you. And I wanna welcome you. This is a very odd experience for me as well. I was telling my husband just this morning um, that it's really strange to be gathering up all of my teaching materials that I usually use in classrooms um, and bringing them to my friend's Airbnb where it's nice and quiet so that I can record these lessons for all of you. But I'm grateful that you're here and I'm excited too um, because we have an opportunity to do some really cool stuff together. And, um, and I'm glad that you're with me uh, to try doing something a little bit different and new. I can honestly say that there have been many times in my life where I wish that I had some dedicated time to work on projects, whether they're writing projects or art projects or even stuff around my house um, that's uninterrupted. And I guess we're gonna get some of that for a little while. What this affords us as writers is something very unique and something very special, no matter how old we are, really. Um, you have the opportunity to do some writing that you don't have to share with anyone else right now unless you choose to. And you have hopefully some time to do it that's comfortable for you. Um, so there isn't a specific time that you have to show up every day to join us here. There are not deadlines around this um, that I'm imposing on you. You can move through this course at your own pace. You might have days where you have long stretches of time to watch these lessons and work on your own pieces. There may be days that are really busy um, and you're not going to be able you know, to, to get to a lesson or to work on your writing and I want you to know that that's okay. Um, this is an invitation to you and hopefully if I do this the right way, it will be just enough inspiration um, to help all of you find some great ideas and play with them a little bit and mess around with them and take some risks and know that your writing does not have to be perfect. And the way that you show up here every day does not have to be perfect and it doesn't have to be every day either. If you have questions as you're moving through the course, I need you to reach out to your teacher first. Um, this will prevent all of us from getting entangled in um, kind of a spider web of communication that quickly breaks down. If your teacher isn't able to answer your question, um, he or she can reach out to me and I'll help from afar for sure. I also want to make sure that your um, anonymity and safety is protected. So I, I don't necessarily um, need you to be or want you to be in contact with me for that reason as well. Our first lesson, as you know, is right on this page, and we're not going to be diving into writing just yet today. What I'd really like to invite you to do is to create a space for yourself as a writer. Maybe think a little bit about when you might try to take on these lessons each day, um, and maybe think a little bit about where you would like to write um, in the space that you're in. I'm hoping the weather gets a little bit nicer and it would be lovely if you could get some fresh air and write outside a little bit as well. Maybe grab a little bit of sun if, if that's possible. Um, but if not, think about where you're gonna set up a space for yourself to write every day. And also think about the tools that you prefer to write with. I know that it's really common for most of us to equate writing with pencils and pens and paper and uh, laptops and keyboards and screens. And that's fabulous if that's you. Um, I like to write often in a sketchbook and I often find that my writing does not take the form of letters and words right away. And I know that that's going to confuse you, um, but hopefully as we work together, you'll find that I'm inviting you to do more than simply put down um, letters and words that writing is bigger than the alphabet. Um, writing is also building things. Writing is also making stuff and sketching and doodling and painting. For some of us, we express ourselves best through things like music or dance. Um, there are all sorts of different ways to write and I'm going to invite you to use all of the modalities that are comfortable for you. What does that word mean? A modality is a way that we express ourselves. The alphabet helps us express ourselves in one particular way. But there's another modality that has to do with 
the way that we see things, visual modality. That's all about working with images or creating images, the things that we see. Another modality is oral modality. We design things so that people can hear them, like music. And some of you who are into that, you might prefer to write this way. And I'm going to invite you in and help you do that a little bit as well. Spatial modality has to do with the way that we lay things out on a page. So if you're in your book, you understand um, spatial mode really well because it's the way that you're laying out a spread on a page. But spatial modality also has to do with the way we snap Lego together and the way that we um, work with blocks and the way that we work with um, vision boards or storyboards or comic panels. If that's how you prefer to express yourself, you're going to be able to write that way in this course. And if you are a very gestural person, if you like to move and use your hands to express yourself as I do, as you can see, um, I want to make sure that I make space and invitations for you to write that way as well. Um, your final form will likely um, show up in the alphabetic kind of expression. Um, I'm hoping that the way that I have you write results in the production of really high quality letters and words that you're really proud of. Um, but it may not, and if it doesn't, I hope that you will gain an appreciation for how all of those other modes are just as legitimate. And I hope that you'll try to capture that work that you do, um, no matter what form of expression it takes as you're moving through the process. So whether you choose to put things down in letters and words, um, each day or whether you choose to take pictures or maybe sketch your process or audio or video record um, your ideas and the things that you're thinking, you're going to find lots of opportunity for that. And if you're struggling to get things down into letters or words, I don't want you to stop that to stop you um, from writing. Writing is bigger than the letters and the words. And hopefully as we move through each of these lessons, you're going to see how and you'll feel that this was a creative time for you. I also hope that it's a time, like I said, for you to take some risks and to feel comfortable not having things perfect. Um, I'm not going to ask you to share anything and neither is anyone else. Um, and again, if you have any problems, please make sure that you reach out to your teacher, ask good questions, um, and he or she will ask them of me if I need to help on my end. Please know that you need to be signed in in order to access the material. So if you're having a hard time seeing things or being told that you're denied access to something, please make sure that you've signed in for the day. Um, and that's totally um, uh, something that we can help you with if you get stuck. So welcome again. Um, and I hope that all of you enjoy that the, the time that you're spending here. Um, again, my name is Angela, Angela Stockman. I live in Buffalo, New York, and um, I'm home learning and writing just like you right now. I hope you enjoy the course, and um, I hope I get to hear a little bit about what emerges from it, too. I'd love to see your stuff, share it with your teacher, and I hope to hear from all of you. Um, I'll see you in the next lesson.